Welcome to News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley. We are joined once again by Lisa Gibellario of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network, and she's coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. And this week, we're talking about Omicron and some of the things that you can do to protect yourself and others. So, Lisa, the Omicron variant of COVID has dominated the news for the last month or so. What do we need to know? Hi, Mike. Yes, it certainly has. Since about late November, it is the variant that has been widely discussed. Um, so the what we need to know is that it's a highly infectious variant and that cases of Omicron are absolutely soaring around the globe in the United States and right here in Massachusetts. So this has taken a lot of people by surprise, particularly since the vaccination rate, at least in Massachusetts, is so high. Um, isn't that right, Lisa? Absolutely, Mike. It has taken medical experts very much by surprise. And they remind us that this is exactly what variants are very clever at doing, which is evading our immunities, whether they are natural immunities or immunities that we get from a vaccination, but this is what, what they do. And while Omicron has been able to break through our vaccinations, the infection it causes is relatively mild for most people. Um, so the severe illness that we saw with the original COVID, the ancestral COVID, um, we're not seeing as much with Omicron. So is it fair to say then that our vaccinations actually are working because they're keeping the Omicron symptoms mild for so many people? Yes, they're keeping them from invading the lung tissue. So the B cells and T cells are really helping with, our, with the lung infection and it tends to be more upper respiratory. So we hear some people saying that it may make sense to get COVID now just to get it over with and stop worrying about it. Does that make any sense? You know, Mike, it, it really doesn't and I'll explain why. Um, first of all, while many of us have mild cases of Omicron, you will still be pretty sick and pretty laid low for several days. So that's not optimal, right, to be sick. Um, and you could, although again, while having a mild case, you could infect someone who is vulnerable, who is immunocompromised or an elderly person, and they could have a severe case, which could impact our already beleaguered healthcare system. Um, and I guess I would say, finally, the idea that you'll be immune from future COVID infections is true for maybe three months, but um, it's a short time. Then those three months will go by fast and then your immunities will start to wane. So what is the bottom line then, Lisa? The bottom line is to continue to be vigilant about protecting yourself from this infection. So if you're not vaccinated, I would say get vaccinated, get boosted. Get your children vaccinated who are over the age of five. Wear a good quality mask while indoors. Um, and then again, wash your hands. And if you begin to feel symptomatic, you know, fatigue, headache, stuffed nose, cough, sore throat, get tested so that you can then find out if you're positive and if so, quarantine to help prevent the spread. All right. Good advice, Lisa. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.